It appears right now today that Nintendo is set up very well for not just the future of the Nintendo Switch platform, but the future of Nintendo Switch 2. One of the biggest things game developers and let's just be honest game platform holders whether it's sony or microsoft are having a hard time doing is getting that content that drives sales out the door right the exclusive games the timed exclusive games etc they are having a very hard time consistently getting games out the door they have arguably not transitioned very well from playstation 4 and xbox one all the way up to playstation 5 and xbox series and it's arguably they haven't really transitioned well since the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 days when they both had significantly more game output. But Nintendo has sort of bucked that trend. While they have less games coming out overall because they're not supporting two different platforms, they have more games coming out for a single platform than they've ever had in Nintendo history with Switch. And Nintendo is ahead of the game. They are so far ahead of the game that I've never been more confident than I am right now in the future of Nintendo's video games. And why is that? Well, because the mo most recent release, right, the Thousand Year Door, what if I were to tell you that the game's been sitting on a shelf for nearly a year. We're heading on over to this Pierre 485 account over on X, who's quoting Vindy's, who posted up a ratings from the German board for Thousand Year Door. And it says, according to the German rating organization, USK, Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door was classified in June of 2023, a year prior to release, technically a little over a year. As we scroll down, you notice this is not the first time Nintendo's been sitting on games ready to go. Metroid Prime Remastered and Fire Emblem Engage were rated 18 months before release. So, yes, if you look at that information, it certainly appears that, hey, the way things are shaping up right now, Nintendo is probably still sitting on a lot of video games well ahead of release. Now, this isn't saying Nintendo does this with every single game, right? That is not always the case but nintendo is sitting on a number of finished products at any given time and this enables nintendo to have a wide slate of releases every single year if you wonder how nintendo keeps up the torrid pace of releases it's by just having games done ahead of time and dropping them when they are needed now i want to note something about this as you're looking at some footage of the thousand year door here i want to note that nintendo doesn't always have games rated when they are quote unquote finished a game being rated means that in terms of the content it's pretty much a content complete experience there might be some tweaks and some bug fixes but they're not gonna be adding any major content in that rating boards are gonna have to look over so that does not necessarily mean when a game is rated that it's actually complete done with game development but it is a good indicator that when it is rated the game is near completion that much is usually true uh recently you know we've had stories come out about how uh the esrb has rated games like hollow knight silk song and so now people are anticipating that game coming out sometime this year uh, but who knows maybe they sit on it the way nintendo is because the fascinating way that nintendo handles a lot of their games and sitting on them for so damn long is allowing nintendo to build up a back catalog of ready to release products and i'm willing to bet that while you know the supposed nintendo switch to delay because originally it was supposed to come out this year supposedly again rumored and now it's you know supposedly coming out next year the big thing i think about that rumored delay it wasn't necessarily because nintendo didn't have enough games ready to go but nintendo wants to make sure they maintain their pace of game releases which means they aren't comfortable at the moment with the number of games they have sitting just behind the scenes ready to go whether it's the wind waker or Twilight princess hd whether it's a new mario game or a new mario kart or whatever nintendo has already done and ready to go they're not comfortable with the number of titles that they have ready to go or almost ready to go. So they wanted to give a little bit more time so they can bank up more titles to create a more consistent first two, three, four years on the market. Nintendo is doing this in a way that pretty much nobody else is. Sony isn't sitting on games. 
Microsoft isn't sitting on games. Nobody else sits on their games, completed projects for a year plus other than Nintendo. And they have the luxury of doing that because they've created this consistent release pattern and this consistent success that I find to be quite fascinating. I mean, even if you go back to Tears of the Kingdom, A.G. Numa was on record stating the game was essentially done a year before it came out, but they spent that year polishing the game. And Nintendo does this sort of thing because not only does it ensure the quality of their releases, it also ensures that consistent pattern of release. If you always have games done, if you always have games ready to go, then you never really have a true game drought. I know we're talking about this year where Nintendo technically could arguably not have a brand new major system selling release drop. However, that doesn't mean they haven't had a consistent cadence of games coming out and they have, and this is how Nintendo maintains it. So I actually think the rest of the industry maybe should take some notes from Nintendo. One, not every game needs to be a 20 million seller. Two, it's okay to have a number of games that only sell a few million. And three, having your games ready so far in advance that you just have this consistent cadence of never ending content. And honestly, Nintendo, I really appreciate that this is the approach you take. It also allows for some of your games just to get a little bit extra polish as well, such as Tears of the Kingdom. And again, I'm not saying Nintendo does this with every game. Obviously, there are certain major, massive franchises, Pokemon as an example, that are not going to get this sort of treatment. But I do think that Nintendo does this with enough games combined with games that they not they don't delay that it ends up being this amalgamation of consistent releases and I, I talked about this before because i had a source on this last year about metroid prime 4 being in the final stages and I, i'm actually of mind that metroid prime 4 is pretty much done at this point and a lot of the new hires that retro studios might be doing is for the next game they're working on or maybe they're working on it already but my thing is metroid prime 4 i think is another game that nintendo is sitting on whether they're sitting on it to do a launch on switch and switch 2 i don't know whether they're sitting on it to launch later this year but i think like metroid prime remastered it's another one of those games that's just been kind of sitting there waiting for nintendo to do something we feel this way by the way about another fire emblem remake that has been rumored for a while maybe even a possible donkey kong game where these are games nintendo is potentially sitting on uh and now we have rumors about games coming next year to switch a 3ds game a gamecube game etc uh and that's fine that, that makes sense and those games could be being sat on right now so they have more switch releases in 2025 i'm just really happy about the state of nintendo i think that's my general takeaway from this news is I am excited about where Nintendo is going and the way things are looking and how they handle their business. Uh, we, we just have a lot of exciting things to talk about and I'm so thrilled that we hit a weekend and the topics don't end. Even after this video, I already have a few more videos sort of in mind to make. Uh, one of them is actually a deep dive look at Nintendo's uh, studios and what they have recently released uh what might be rumored out there what's likely to come major franchises are obviously more consistent than the smaller ones but we could take a look at sort of predicting nintendo's first few years of switch 2 just kind of basing it on the way nintendo studios have been behaving and then on top of that we have other videos going on uh, we have some news floating out out there about the nintendo switch 2 servers that's right we now have server information if there wasn't any more clear switch 2 is probably coming out sooner than later that is one of the biggest indicators uh, and just more there, there's so much floating out there right now this is the exciting time for me as a content creator to have so much to talk about and i hope you guys are looking forward to all of those videos if you are i'd appreciate it if you would drop a like and subscribe to the channel otherwise guys i'm going to catch you guys in the next video